Okay, so I guess I'm gonna start this project uh, this weekend, a lot faster than I thought I would, but here's the bat top from the IST Alpha N. And I took the liberty of making some measurements and getting kind of the general idea um, going this, I didn't really measure the, the full length of it. I guess I'll do that a little bit later because I might want to make it a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. We'll see uh, how that goes, depending on what kind of scrap I can find. So I'm going to do one of these out of 6061 aluminum, 304 stainless. If not 304, I'll use 303. Um, maybe I'll do both. We'll see how I get out on time because it's like 5.30 or something here and I don't really want to be here too late on a Saturday. So um, I'm going to go identify the thread in a minute and I'm going to try to replicate this. But one thing I do want to say uh, beforehand is since I'm making this on a lathe, uh, how a lathe works, and I'll show you guys what it looks like, is it grabs material on, on one end, cylindrical material, and it spins it, and then the tooling comes in and cuts it as it spins. Now, for something like this that's angled, it has to basically be done in one shot because, um, and you can kind of tell that it's sloped, so there isn't really a way to grab it to have kind of like a second operation to do a finishing touch on the other side. So I'm gonna have to make the decision of, do I modify the shape or do I use a cutoff tool to do the whole rounding in the back in basically one shot and then hand polish it at the end and see basically how that turns out. So there's gonna be a little bit of experimenting and I'll, and I'll try to show all of the failures and the successes and Maybe I'll modify the shape a little bit, make it a little bit more squared off, kind of like how the Nobi lever looked where it was like a sharp angle, um, where the Nobi, Nobi lever was like, uh, is like, kind of like that. Because then I could, you know, do all of this, and then if I want it to look nice on this side, I can flip it and then grab it by these flats, except make it longer to like this length. Um, maybe I'll do both. So... I guess now I'm gonna go and figure out what thread this is. I'm gonna go find some material and I'm gonna go try to write the program. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, so I did a quick Google search. It did say that this has an M6-1 thread, which is kind of universal. But funny thing is, is that this is a, a thread gauge uh, so usually when you're making, um, you know, parts for basically anybody, you have an internal thread like this, right? And the way to test that to make sure that every, like, universal screw of that size goes in, or you make sure that it goes in, is you test it by using go and no-go uh, gauges, right? And the funny thing is, is that on this, it kind of freaked me out for a second, was I tested it using this this thread gauge, and go does not go in. Which technically, <laughs> if if this was being like sent out, if the, if this wasn't in house made by IST, it would get rejected. Um, but a regular screw does go in. So I guess technically this doesn't like quote unquote you know this thing doesn't follow the rules because <laughs> uh, this should go in very nicely, but it does not. Um, but the normal screw does go in, so I can go ahead and start or at least now i know what uh i'm gonna make the thread size so um now it's kind of uh, the time to start thinking about what kind of shape i want this to end up being do i want it to be a bullet lever like uh, the nobi stick do i want it to be this bat top um which one's going to be easier for me how nice can i make it look uh probably going to be a long process so between this video now that i'll splice you know to be seamless into the next one it's going to take a bit of time um so we'll see how that ends up all right so <clears throat> i found the material that i'm going to be using uh 
304 stainless, these two. This is 6061 aluminum. I don't think I'm gonna make multiple counts of this. Um, and then this is 303. So basically this, out of that, out of that, and out of that. And uh, once I start, you know, once I make and finish them, I'll go into the uh, inspection room and I'll weigh them out for you guys. So you can see the weight difference between, um, you know, the plastic kind of resin they use to make these bat tops compared to my um, metal variants, I guess. Um, all right. All right, after about uh, an hour and like 30 minutes, I guess, um, I have the first operation done. This is what it will look like after I finish the next. I'm gonna round this whole area out. Uh, but right now, <clears throat> this is very heavy. <laughs> Very, very heavy. Um, and I know that that's definitely going to fuck with uh, the lever. So I'm hoping that once I get the rounding out of the way um, and shed quite a bit of material off of here, it'll be quite a bit lighter. Um, I did make the same kind of uh, counter bore in there along with the thread. I guess you can kind of see how I tried to replicate it. Um, but to get the second operation right where I can grab this, I did kind of take some creative uh, uh, some creative liberty and gave it this flat area here. Now, I do plan... Um, this is about a 0 .5, uh, 0.580 radius here. So 1.16 diameter um, top. So it will go 0 0.58 inches down and leave me with um, a little bit of a flat area here, which I think will look kind of cool. Um, won't look as maybe smooth and slick as the translucent plastic, but we'll have to wait and see how the final product looks. But uh, I tested uh, the thread and everything and it looks good. Uh, mine uh, <laughs> has the thread gauge go in through, so I'm better, I guess. <laughs> now, uh, as like a preliminary test to see the weights uh, and the comparisons, I zeroed out the scale. And the translucent ball top made out of plastic is a whopping 32 grams. Basically, this, is, this weighs nothing. Um, the majority of the weight is probably um, this insert to have the thread in the plastic. Now, mine, 223 grams. Uh, <laughs> it's about eight times uh, as heavy as this. It's, it's like a paperweight, you know? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the next operation and I'm gonna get the top rounded out and then I'll come back and see the uh, weight comparison and uh, then I think I'll, I'll wash it up, maybe polish any imperfections that are on there, but right now I don't really see any. And um, then I'll go home, attach it, and see, if, uh, see how it plays. All right, the results are in. It looks pretty good. It could look a whole lot better. Um, I could also, uh, we have a sand blasting machine, bead blasting machine. Um, that could give it more of a textured finish, and I guess um, maybe I can, you know, give that a shot uh, sometime later, or maybe with this one, because uh, it is really heavy still. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's going to be usable, but I will try. I'm going to go home and give it a shot, and then obviously I'm going to just go back to this one, because there's no shot that that poor lever is going to be able to handle this weight. Um, I've been thinking of some ways to... Uh, make it lighter um, and I'll implement those in the future and maybe I'll make a video of that of how I'm gonna modify this to get the weight down to be at least kind of similar um, to the plastic but a little bit heavier but 
still a lot closer than it is now. Um, so I guess I'll do like a final weigh in. We'll do the plastic once more. It's 32 grams. And now after the rounding, we have 194. So um, we shut off like what, 30, 30 grams with that, which is decent. But again, I don't really think uh, that it's going to be usable. So let's go find out. All right. Finally home. Ate a little bit. Now I get to finally uh, show you guys what I decided on. Right before I left work, I was like, fuck it, let's be blasted. And look at this cool finish, huh? I think this looks a lot better um, than the post-manufactured look. This has like a, almost like a matted kind of um, look to it. And this is all natural, of course. There's no paint on this. This is just natural 304 stainless. Um, no change in weight, but it looks really, really cool. Um, and of course, the original. You can see I got the sizing pretty much perfect. They even look super similar. If it wasn't for this little flat spot, I'd say it's identical. Um, <clears throat> now, back to uh, this guy. Of course, the only thing I'm worried about is the thing that's keeping this shaft basically from flying out. It's this little snap ring. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully I got it right. Moment of truth. Let's see if it, you know, at least screws in. It's really hard to do with one hand. It does, it does screw in. I'm gonna need to take a screwdriver on the bottom and hold it in, but I guess this will kind of be your guys's nice little view of it. That looks pretty freaking cool, huh? Hmm, okay. Uh, let me tighten it to what it's supposed to be. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about it, how it feels, and then I'm going to take a break. Um, I'll play a few matches, probably drink a few beers, and I'll let you guys know how this looks, and then I'll give you my thoughts and maybe what the next move is. Well, it's in. The, it is officially even heavier now. Uh, listen, I know a lot of you guys... We're a pretty big fan of uh, this ball top. And I agree, it did give it a little bit of life and color. But man, is this unique. Um, it really does look cool. It does mute it a little bit more. So I guess I really do kind of like the way this looks on top of it. Um, so I guess maybe if I you know go through with doing something like this in a little bit of a better way, like you know getting the weight down, I'd probably say... If I could get it down to like 120 grams would be good. So I need to shed another 70-ish grams because I remember we, when I weighed it, it was like at 190 something. So um, I don't know where I would find that. I'd probably have to just bore out more holes. Um, but overall, I mean, I think that looks pretty freaking cool. Now from a distance, you can kind of like look at it and somebody might think, you know, hey, is this just like plastic? that's, you know, like this, where it's kind of painted or, or whatever, foiled over to look like it's metal. Um, and then when you touch it, Jesus, the weight. Um, <laughs> it's surprisingly natural. Um, <clears throat> it kind of feels good, but um, I think something that I would like to try maybe in the future is whatever rubber grommet is in this, whatever like the, the tension is of it or whatever, uh, I want to get the maximum one, you know, like the one that it's like the most stiff, I guess you could say. And I want to see how it would react with, with this knob because it feels heavy and the spring back, I don't know if you guys can, it's, <laughs> look at that. 
it actually rebounds so far back that it activates the switch up here. That is so funny. I cannot wait to play a game with this because that is this is just going to be a shit show. I'm going to play a few games with this. And then um, I'll be back and let you guys know uh, what it's like. But I think it looks really cool. If I can get this maybe powder coated a certain other color, maybe like a light blue or um, like a green. Or you know what? Fuck it. Maybe I'll just get it coated in this kind of gold and then I can have it a full gold setup with the white box. I think that would look pretty cool. Um, but definitely, uh, I can already tell, got to get the weight down. I think the shape of it is perfect for my first try. I think I fucking killed it. If I'm being honest, um, it feels good. Uh, I like the, the coolness of the, to the touch of it. And I like the, that premium feel, uh, this would look pretty freaking killer on here. Um, so, you know, hey, maybe I'll use this joystick as kind of like a, uh, um, like a showcase <laughs> where I can show you guys all of the cool stuff that I, um, that I do and I could leave it on here as kind of like a, I don't know, a fucking advertisement for my, for my, um, my services, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. It'll look really cool on there. This, especially this, like gunmetal gray on top of that would look really cool all right well i'm gonna go play a few games and let's see how many i lose in a row okay so i basically played three matches with this guy on and then i switched it back to the og and um man the like high quality feel of this in your hand is really something else. Um, there's just something about it being, you know, a solid piece of stainless steel that just feels so premium. Um, but there are some issues with that. Um, so this alpha end lever, the rubber grommet is, I want to say the 35 blue, which is this. So it's around like that middle area. I guess you can kind of see, um, where that range is it's kind of on, excuse me, the lower spectrum here. So the issue is, is that this is so heavy. You know, I think we weighed it in at about 193 grams compared to this being, you know, 32 or something, you know, meaning that it's, you know, six times the, the weight of this. So when it was attached, cause, cause this is like, like I've said many times before, the, the feeling is good. Um, and it feels very correct the way it is. Um, so when you replace it with this, something that's significantly heavier, it becomes like there is no resistance at all. Whatever resistance the rubber grommet that's in here poses with this, with my stainless steel knob on it is completely negated. It is like moving through air, basically. How easy it is to move my hand like this that's how easy it was to put the inputs in. Um, so I guess uh, maybe tomorrow I'll order because these are these are pretty cheap. Um, if they have them in stock, I'll order the the forty, the forty five, the fifty, and the fifty five. And for fun, I'll make a video um, showcasing how this behaves while it's attached with these different tension grommets on here. And then maybe we'll play a few games and we'll see how, how that um, basically works. But that being said, regardless, my next step, maybe over, you know, someday I'll stay a little bit late at work or something after hours. And I will try to essentially... Um, get the weight down 
on this. I don't know if I'm gonna have to add like grooves in here and then, um, you know, deburr them to just get out as much weight as possible. I could perhaps make the hole deeper to try to take out as much material from the inside as possible because that's obviously where all the mass is. Um, you know, there's just a bunch of stuff that I, I have to think of. I can make the counter bore a lot uh, deeper so that this, when it's attached, it will sink deeper in, uh, which could be interesting because then it would kind of be like a like a short throw gear, gear lever. Um, because it's, it's got quite a bit of height right now. And I'm wondering if I made the, the thread in this deeper and the hole larger and the counter bore larger, um, it could sit lower down, which would be another completely different method of playing. So we'll see uh, what I decide to do. But I guess the easiest thing I could do is, which I, I probably will do, is... Instead of using 304 stainless, which has a pretty high density value, um, I'll make it out of 6061 aluminum. And I think, I mean, it, it'll probably work perfectly. Uh, I'm sad I didn't do that today because I would have had all of it and I could have shown you guys a nice video comparison all in one today. But, you know, it was getting late. I started too late and... Um, you know, the dogs needed me at home, so I did what I could. Now, I will say regardless, it looked awesome, in my opinion. The feel is something else. I'm sure everybody's experienced um, using something or buying something or having something they've had for a long time that was made out of plastic. And then eventually you got like a higher tier model of whatever it is that you're using. And it happened to be made out of, out of metal. And the feeling is just otherworldly basically and the same can be represented by this it's cool to the touch it feels like very luxurious and i just can't explain it i wish anybody that watches this video was curious could could, could understand the feeling of it that being said ridiculously heavy for its purpose and i will work on that come next time um now a lot of you guys maybe won't like the look of it, you know, it being this kind of, this is obviously bead blasted 304 stainless. Um, <clears throat> and previously in the videos, it was just uh, essentially like post manufacturer stainless, so cut stainless. Um, I like this a lot. I think it looks a little bit better than the shiny because it doesn't show like fingerprints or anything like that. So, um, I think that's that's what I'm going to be aiming for as well. I think when I make the aluminum part of this or the counterpart of this, I'm going to do the same bead blast method to try to get it to look kind of like uh, like this. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I played a few games with it and it was flying basically all over the place. There was no tension whatsoever. It was just everywhere like water you know it was so easy to move whatever complaint i had in earlier videos about me like oh my thumb might get tired my fingers my hand whatever this thing negates that completely it was just moving back and forth like no fucking tomorrow it was just so easy um which was a really cool sensation to have um and you know We'll see how 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 I I move forward with this because I think this is actually a really cool project. I think it looks incredible. Um, it looks really cool, and uh, I'm gonna try to make a few replicants of it. I'm gonna try to enhance it. I'm gonna try to make it better. And my goal is to eventually make something that I will use, um, that will be better, will feel better, and look better uh, than this. Uh, at least quality wise, you know, and also it would be really cool that it's, that's mine. You know, I guess this is technically my design. This is, um, basically about seven, you know, 80% this design with essentially, you know, this kind of straightforward gimmick, which kind of makes this a unique, uh, top to a lever. I guess you can kind of see this flattened area here that I specifically made just for my manufacturing process to make it easier for me. Um, and honestly, it, it, it's quite ergonomic because for me personally, that's right where my 
about my middle finger uh, is, is that flat area. Um, so kind of feels nice. But anyway, uh, till next time, I'll hopefully make uh, another few of these and I'll try out different um, kind of methods. I'll try out different designs. I'll do all that stuff. I'll do the tests. I'll probably record all of it and then I'll just put it into like a big compilation or something just for you guys to, to check out. But for right now, this is my 304 stainless steel uh, variant bead blasted of course with this cool finish um and i i'll give it like a six out of ten i came pretty pretty freaking close to making like a complete product um but it's got a lot to improve on so uh thanks for watching again guys and if you have any questions you want to answer just ask i, I like to check a lot of the times all right thanks